everybody, I am back again with Motivational Mondays, but just to let you all know, I'm going to be doing more than one video a week because there's a lot to discuss. So today's topic is going to be fear and anxiety and how fear and anxiety does not run you, no matter what. So we live in a world that is fearful. We live in a world that people have anxiety and they don't know how to deal with it. Coming from a Christian perspective, everything cannot be with just medicine. That's just how I feel. You can't control certain things with just medicine. But if you believe in Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior and you believe that he is the Son of God and that he is supposed to do what he's supposed to do, then you shouldn't have fear, you shouldn't have anxiety. He put it in his word. And if he put it in his word, then that's what it is. At times we feel like maybe we can't do a certain thing because of that fear. So an example would be trying to start your own business. That's where I am right now. I want to have my own business. That's how I've always been since I was 19. I'm 27 now and it's like fear can grip you so hard that you don't even recognize it until someone comes into your life and actually speaks it and you actually have your eyes open. Like my eyes are open. I need to work for myself. Other people need to hear what I have to say. I don't have a title. I don't need a title. So this is my platform. This is going to be my platform to do videos so that somebody can get it, understand it, and know that you're not the only one struggling through this. I have two scriptures, this is gonna be quick, and the first one is going to be about anxiety. And this is the Amplified Version, so it says, do not be anxious or worried about anything, but in everything, every circumstance, and every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, continue to make specific requests known to God. And then also, there's another one. So this is going to be for fear. For God did not give us the spirit of timidity or cowardice or of fear, but he has given us a spirit of power and of love and of sound judgment and personal discipline, abilities that can result in calm, well-balanced mind and self-control. So that's 2 Timothy 1 and 7 for fear, and then Philippians 4 and 6 for anxiety. So just so you know, if you need some scriptures to back it up, because I'm not just talking. If he put it in here, then we have to apply these scriptures to our lives daily and know that fear and anxiety can't run us no matter what. You got to put this word on it. So that is all that I have for today, and I will be back next week with another video.